Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are here at the Roseburg Indoor, located in Roseburg, Oregon, and this is the 2022 Turkey Shootout Finale. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all is right in the world, I guess you could say. Just got done with qualifying. Welcome back, night number two of the turkey shootout and the $1,000 to win finale. Happy to have you guys hanging out with our team. Yesterday's video was probably super frustrating from the Friday show. We did okay throughout most of the night. Looked like we were gonna probably run second or third in the feature. Got wiped out, but the main thing I talked about at the end of that video was something was off with our 18T. Just this car, I don't know, we didn't know what it was. We knew the numbers were off, but I couldn't fix it or do anything to get it close to where it needed to be. So we spent all day, went through the car, uh, tried to figure it out, and finally we got our problem fixed. Uh, we put the car on the scales, got all the numbers exactly back to what I like, what we do with our factory carts, got it dialed in, and now it drives like a dream again. So that uh, puts a huge smile on my face. But we ended up fourth quick in qualifying out of 22 cars, so a solid start, and I was probably just like that far off of what I needed to do behind the wheel. Right now, the track is just so fast. Quick time was a 7.7. I'm pretty sure that's the track record. I ran a 7.8, the fastest lap I've ever ran. So that just kind of shows uh, where, the, where the racing surface is at. And hopefully it starts to slow down so we can actually race and make passes. But fourth quick, we're gonna be on the front row of a heat race starting on the outside. Really need to try to get a good jump here and get out front and win this to carry those results into the second heat and then into the A. Seven eights? Seven eights. Still in the seven second bracket, guys. Racetrack's extremely quick. Uh, it's got a pretty solid hole in one. It was there for qualifying. It's a little bit better after they kind of tried to work it after, after that for these heats. Did our job though. Started front row outside, got a phenomenal start. The car inside of me, he like took off early and then I don't know if he thought he was gonna get called for a jump and then it actually just helped me because when I took off, like when we took off towards the line, I was, I was all the way clear going into one. And from that point on, my car was money. I just, I feel like a whole different driver in this thing. It, it almost feels like it drives itself. And that is why it's so important to get your race car good and stay on the straight and narrow path. Because when you get off on other trails and get all sideways and whatnot from where you're supposed to be, it's a, it's a hard road to, to run. And I figured I would address the elephant in the room that some of you might have uh, thought when you saw who I was racing around in that heat. The car on the pole was the one that wiped me out yesterday. And I figured I would just say, is, you know, some people are probably thinking like, Tanner, do you feel like you want to retaliate or do something in a moment like that? And I always say like, as a racer, you have a job to do. And you know, my goal is to go out there and win that heat race. And until something gets in the way of that job, um, I think you never forget how others race you and you remember that for a long, long time. But you, you have to go out there with the intent to win when you're letting what other people are doing or past incidents constantly 
be in your brain and live in your head rent free, you're never gonna be a successful race car driver, at least consistently. So uh, put that behind us, was able to win the heat, did exactly what we did to do, didn't feel nervous at all. So uh, heat number two will be up next and I believe we're gonna be rolling off from like the seventh starting position and we're gonna need to make some hay and go forward. Well, heat races are now complete here at the Roseburg Indoor. Ended up uh, driving from seventh to second in that one, and that will be good enough to put us on the front row of tonight's 40 lap feature. Did exactly what we needed to do. I kind of felt like I screwed around a little too long uh, trying to get into second. If I could have made quicker work, I could have had a shot at winning the heat race, but I just tried to work the bottom really long, and it's hard to complete a slide job right now, too, because the top is literally so fast. It's so fast that no matter how hard you drive through the bottom, you can't slide enough to clear a car and do a slide job cl you know, cleanly. See, right now, it's actually pretty smooth up here as well, which just makes the top that much easier to run and makes it to where you can build more speed. And the bottom's kind of just now probably working its way into where it can be close to even and we can kind of have two lanes. But anyway, we're focused on the A coming up. We've made zero changes all night, kind of played with air pressure a little bit, uh, but right now it's just not taking obviously any big swings, but just seeing what we need to do tire wise. And if we can make any small changes for this A main event, we are gonna have a fuel stop at lap 25, but no changes are allowed, only fuel. So you can only add fuel, nothing else, which means you gotta make your car good at the beginning and hope it, it, it rides the whole way. Um, but 40 laps, see what they do to the racetrack. But main events will be up next here at the Roseburg Indoor. Well, right now, just trying to get things in order for this feature, just trying to figure out my tire situation. The tires I have on, I've ran uh, all night. They're money on stagger. They got plenty of tread left for this race. I just don't know if I wanna switch maybe to a harder compound. Basically a harder compound, once it heats up, it only gets better, where with the tires I on, have on now, once they get hot, they almost just like melt over time and, and they burn up. So you technically will get slower over a long run, but if the racetrack stays grippy, they don't really melt because they don't get as hot, if that makes sense, they just grip up. It's just once it starts to, to slicken off, if it does. So right now the surface, I think what we have on is gonna work, but I'm gonna keep a close eye on it because if it starts to go away, we're gonna have to switch for such a long race. We're gonna have to have a harder compound. All right, heading out here for uh, the turkey shootout finale. Feel like our car is as good as it can be. We ended up going on the harder side with tires. It's just, uh, it's such a long race. And I felt like we were able to match our stagger up and still keep the balance hopefully where it needs to be. Um, right now, my main competition is a guy I've been racing all weekend, Jesse, he's on the pole, or front row outside. So it's all about keeping a level head, planning out your race, even if I don't get out front early, which would be kind of the goal. If I don't, we can still win this thing. Uh, so race to the field stop on lap 25, figure it out from there, but I uh, feel like like I said, everything's exactly where it needs to be, and it's just gonna be now uh, the marathon of 40 laps to, to see who wins this turkey shootout $1,000 to win feature. So we're gonna head up right now.
get out front, I'm pulling away. Oh, yeah. The only person that's going to be here Tuesday is going to be right there. Is he in third or fourth? We got 15 to go. Uh, 18 to go. Actually, we didn't even need it. Go stop. Getting out of the race car, let them hear you, Roseburg. Tanner Holmes out of Jacksonville. Tonight's turkey shootout finale feature winner. For the second year in a row, the Black 18T is in victory lane on Thanksgiving weekend. Led, I think, technically all 40 laps. Uh, battle with Jesse Caldwell a little bit. Chase Hill was up there in the mix, a couple other guys, but... Ultimately, we got out front and we kicked their butts. Um, I felt like we were the best car. Jesse was probably right there too. If he would have got out front, he would have been tough to beat, but nailed every restart, did our job, made a great tire choice. Going to a, you know, a harder compound was, was definitely a, a better option. I was getting a little nervous though. Like I said, those restarts were tough. I picked the bottom once, I picked the top. I had to time it differently. It was starting to get dusty. I wasn't sure what to do. I just knew I needed to keep trying to change and not get bombed on the on the restarts and luckily i think we did a great job protecting and, and showed our speed i'm not normally the type of guy to maybe burn it down after a win um obviously this one felt really good especially after yesterday's frustration but i felt like i was probably driving a little bit mad in the a like i just against the guys i was racing like with getting wiped out yesterday and some stuff like that like you know when you just feel like you got a chip on your shoulder and you have something to prove it's like we run here all the time we're always fast we win a lot of races i don't mean that to sound like an ego it's just you guys you guys know what i mean like i i, I just wanted to win i wanted to show these guys we are the best car we can do it and and we did and we got it done so um like i said i don't think that usually i don't have that exact feeling i always want to win but not for that reason of almost I hate to say, you know, probably more of a pride thing, if that makes sense, if I gotta be 100% honest. So one, burned it down a little bit, got a little gas on those donuts, and uh, was able to, you know, put on a little celebration for the fans. The craziest thing happened though, get this, my right rear was going flat at the end of the race, which obviously meant, one, the tire's going flat, but two, I lost a bunch of stagger. So when I came in with the air I had, I had a quarter inch of reverse stagger. That's where the left rear is bigger than the right rear which would make the car extremely tight, obviously. It will not turn. Stagger makes the car turn. But for some reason, maybe it stripped out, or I don't know if it was loose, but my left front stop nut here that holds the spindle in place was loose and came off during the race, which ran the spindle all the way down, which takes cross out of the car, which loosens it up. So thankfully that happened. Otherwise, I would have been way too tight, probably undrivable at some point in the A, but that happened, combined with the flat right rear, made the car where it was still okay and still drove good enough for us to park in victory lane. Don't know when that happened, but it did happen. Um, just crazy. So big thanks to my family, uh, Roseburg Indoor, everyone feels good. Nice little thousand dollar check and uh, turkey shootout champions back to back year. So 
Tough first night. I would say though, we rebounded. 